Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on instantaneous center for a given mechanism. So if we observe the diagram, some dimensions are given. So here swing needle bar mechanism is given. Now if we observe the dimensions are in the range of 10 millimeter to 40 millimeter. So we will take here scale. 10 millimeter is equal to 5 centimeter distance and we have to draw this with the help of the suitable scale. So crank O1A is given that is the length is given and angle beta is also given. So first we have to take fixed points and then we have to locate the position of the point A. Then the we can take the horizontal distance and vertical distance in between O1 and O2 is given. So from this we can locate the O2 that is the fixed point with respect to O1. And then from O2 there is the triangle. And in this triangle there is no any relative motion in between this O to B C that is this triangle we will consider as a one link because this whole triangle is getting rotated about the fixed point O2. So this is most important point because uh, this triangle O to B C is shown with the help of meshing. So we, we have to give the number as a one link for this whole triangle. Then as per the dimensions that is O to B is length of O to B is given then length of B C is given and angle of O to B C is also given. So from that we can draw here this triangle then C D is also given where D is vertically below O1. So here this there is the slider D which is getting reciprocated along a horizontal line. So this CD we can easily draw because D is at the uh, vertically below this uh, fixed point O1. And here we have to find out the velocity of needle at point D for the given configuration. And the crank O1A rotates at 400 rpm. So this is the question that is given. So if we observe here is the given diagram and we have to give first the number with suitable links. So here O1 is the fixed point. So for the fixed point we have to select as the number 1. So here for O1 and O2 I will give here the number 1. And in the same way if we observe along this horizontal line this slider is getting reciprocated. So here for this fixed horizontal line or we can say fixed horizontal surface I also give here as a number 1. Then the next is the crank OA. So for this crank OA I will give here the number 2. Then this link is AB. Here is number 3. Now if we observe this triangle O2BC now is shown with this machine. So there is no any relative motion in between this BC or O2C or O2B because this whole triangle is getting rotated about the center O2. So for this whole triangle I will give here as a link number 4. Then C2D. So C2D I will give here as a link number 5 and D is the slider. So here for this point I will give here as a link number 6. So if we observe there are total number of links are 6. So now we have to find out how many instantaneous centers are there and that we will calculate with the help of the number of links. So with the help of number of links if we observe there are 6 number of links that is n, n minus 1 by 2 that is 6 into bracket 6 minus 1 by 2 that is equal to 15. So we can say that here we have instantaneous centers n is equal to 15. So how to find out that instantaneous center? So for that we have to prepare one table. So for the links we have to take here number of links are 6. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here we have to take instantaneous centers. That means we have to join each link. That is 1 is connected to 2. 1 is connected to 3. That is 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. In the same way, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6. 
here is 4 5 4 6 and here is 5 6 now we cannot move to the back because if we connect 6 num number of link to the one that is connection in between 6 and 1 but it is already present here so here these are the instantaneous centers now by the observation we have to plot fixed and permanent instantaneous centers so if we observe this here is the point 1 that is fixed and it is getting connected with this point 2 at here that is at the center of this O1 so I will say here I12 then link 2 and 3 is getting connected at point A so I will say that I23 then 3 and 4 is connected this at point B so I will say that I34 then if we observe at this point this point 1 and link 4 is getting connected so here I 1 4 then here at point C this 4 and this link 5 is getting connected so I will say that I 4 5 and here this 5 and this slider 6 is getting connected here at the center of this slider so I will say that I 5 6 and this slider is also getting reciprocated on a fixed surface so fixed surface or fixed point we have given here the number 1 and when the slider is getting reciprocated on a plane surface then here we have to show that instantaneous center will goes to the infinity so i will show here from the center of the slider so with the help of the dash line we have to show that that is here i16 will move to the infinity i16 and it is infinity so we have to write here as a infinity sign so in this way all these instantaneous centers that are fixed and permanent are getting plotted. Now how to find out neither fixed nor permanent instantaneous center. So for this we have to use the Kennedy's method. So we have to take first number of lines is equal to number of links. So we have to draw inside the circle number of lines and which is equal to number of links and which is equal to 6. So first I will draw here because here 1 and 2 is getting connected. So if I take here there is a point 1 then here is a 1 2. Then 2 and 3 is also getting connected. So I will take here as a 2 3. Then 3 and 4 there is also connection in between 3 and 4. So I will take here as a 3 4. Then 4 and 5 there is the connection that we can see. So here i will take here the connection or connected 4 and 5 then 5 and 6 is also getting connected and then here 1 and 6 that is also getting connected now if we observe here there is the connection in between 1 and 4 also because this is the fixed point so we have to join here 1 and 4 So now how to apply this Kennedy's method so we know that we have to join the opposite points in such a way that there is a formation of opposite triangles. Now if we observe the question we have to find out the velocity at this point D. So if from the given data we can only calculate here the velocity at this point A and VA and VB are getting connected. So if I take the center that is the instantaneous center for the projection of this VA and projection of this velocity at this point B or we can say for the perpendicular distance if I take the projection from this point B then at this point of intersection we, we have to take we can take here the perpendicular distance that is this perpendicular distance from the common center from this point A and common center from this point B. So which point should be connected how to find out that so this point is important so for that we have to project this I12 and I23 that is these two centers that we have to project so if we observe this 1 2 and 2 3 that means 1 2 3 uh, triangle should be getting formed so here I will connect these two points that is 1 and 3 then 
here for this point B if I have to project then here 3 4 and 1 4 so if I observe here this 1 4 3 triangle is getting formed that means if I project this B in this backward direction and A in this upward direction then I will get here instantaneous center that is the I 1 3 then uh, now I will project it uh, at the same time because 1 2 and 2 3 so I will project in it in this direction and here 3 4 and 1 4 because in this second triangle here because of this line two opposite triangles are getting formed so I will take I 1 4 I 3 4 and that should be getting projected so here is the point of intersection that will give us I 1 3 then in the same way here if we observe this B is connected to C so this B and C is having the common center about which this getting rotated because this O2 BC is we will consider it as a whole link so for this B this is the perpendicular distance that is I1 4 to B and for this C here is the distance that is I1 4 to C so from this we can again if we observe this C is connected to D. So again we have to take the common center in between C and D. So how to take? So again if I observe here this D is getting projected that is I5, 6 and I16. So here 1, 6, 5 these are the included number here 5, 6 and 1, 6. So if I join this 1 and 5 then I will get here 1, 6, 5 and 1, 4, 5. So here is 4, 5 and here is 1, 4 because in the first triangle there is I, 1, 6, I, 5, 6. So here I, 5, 6 is there and here I, 1, 6 that will move to the infinity. So it is this line is already present. Now from the second triangle I, 1, 4 and I, 4, 5. So here I14 and I45. So again we have to connect these two. So here at this point it will intersect. And at this point there is instantaneous center I15. So this is the common point. So we have to take VC divided by that is velocity at point c divided by i1 phi to c distance which is equal to vd divided by i1 phi to 60 that that this point d distance that we have to take now we will move for the calculation so if we observe here how to calculate the velocity at this point a because omega at o1a is given which is 41.9 rad per second and distance o1a is also given that is 16 millimeter so we have to take this distance in meter that is 0 0.016 meter into 41.5 which is equal to 0 0.67 meter per second so here is the velocity at this point a so with reference to this velocity we can find out the velocity at this point b so here va divided by i13 a which is equal to vb divided by i13 b so vb we will take on one side and i13 b it will move to the numerator so here what is the value of i13 b that is 50 millimeter so here 0.05 meter and i13 a so this distance is 41 millimeter so we will take 0.041 meter so if we calculate this we will get 0.817 meter per second now again for this b and c is getting connected with center i14 so again vb by i14 b which is equal to vc by i14 c because these two points are having common center so this i14 b now we have to find out this vc so i14 c we have to move to the numerator so what is i14 to c distance so it is 28 millimeter and i14 to b distance is 23 millimeter so we have to take here 0 0.028 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो ट्वेंटी थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाय दिस वी पी दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट एट वन सेवन मीटर पर सेकंड सो हि आर एन्सर इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन फाइव मीटर पर सेकंड नाउ दिस सी एंड डी दिस कनेक्टेड एंड इट इज हैविंग कॉमन सेंटर दैट इज आई वन फाइव सो दिस वी सी डिवाइडेड बाय आई वन फाइव टू सी विच इज इक्वल टू वी डी डिवाइडेड बाय आई वन फाइव टू डी सो हि आर वी डी सो हियर आई वन फाइव टू डी वी हैव टू शिफ्ट टू द न्यूमिनेटर सो वी सी इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन फाइव ना वॉट इज द डिस्टन्स ऑफ आई वन फाइव टू डी सो दिस डिस्टन्स इज सिक्सटी टू मिलीमीटर दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू टेक हियर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्सटी टू एंड वॉट इज द डिस्टन्स ऑफ आई वन फाइव टू सी इट इज सिक्सटी फाइव मिलीमीटर सो वी हैव टू टेक जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्सटी फाइव मीटर एंड एन्सर इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइंटी फाइव मीटर पर सेकंड एंड दिस इज अवर एन्सर